I mean, Boom's played it at the high le highest level there yeah. is. You know, we've seen classics, him versus Alvin in this matchup. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. You know, it can definitely be volatile. Yeah, Brody's. One grab from either character is really big. Yeah, good escape there, but kind of, ooh. Overextension. Nice recognition from uh, Brody there. Right. Not able to get the, oh. Good call out. Really brilliant down tilt there. Yeah, he, he it was a good call out on Josh to just go. He was going for that quick zip to ledge. Not going to let him have that. Put out an easy down tilt. Oh, and down tilts again. Yeah. Getting kind of wispied there, unfortunately. Uh -huh. You know, I don't actually see down tilt used by Falcons a ton in this matchup. And Boom just kind of showed that it, it's a great option because it comes out so quick to cover yeah. that little zip to ledge. Uh, and he's getting good conversions off of it, so. Oh. <laughs> and uh, Stairway here using Pikachu. Okay, but yeah, that's yeah. Good. Brody, yeah, helping Boom a little co recover a little bit there, but uh, decided to take it away from him. Oh, bad trade there. Uh, Boom's going to take this one to the bank. Wow, that's a really strong early lead here for Super Boom fan. Boom actually playing like a little bit aggressive. He's just choosing to take center stage and sort of throwing out hitboxes. Okay. Good grab there. Yeah. yeah. He kind of flubbed the edge guard though. You know, he went for just the, the F smash read. Okay, he is able to convert in the end of the day, but. Yeah, at that low percent, there's nothing really guaranteed. Uh, right, you have to take Falcon. a chance. So Brody likes using that forward smash to catch Falcons that are jumping early, but uh, Boom seen it all. He's wise to that. It, it feels like forward smash, uh, I mean, as you said, any option you can take as peak guy at low percent or zero percent off the grab is kind of a gamble, but it seems like forward smashes uh, can be a bit more telegraphed than the other ones. Yes. But, um, all right, so. That's a quick game one from Super Boom fan. Looked really comfortable. Josh Brody able to take the stock sort of when he got Boom off stage. We saw some good edge guarding from him, but um, he didn't. He, he didn't look like he had control over neutral like at any point yeah. in that match. So like it was a uh, Brody did a really good job just picking up the opportunities that he was given though. Like, and he only dropped right. what one edge guard, and even the one he dropped, he still followed up on Falcon. Right, um, and, and, and that's, that's I guess, uh, step one in this match, right? Like, if, if you know you can get your conversions, especially off stage in this matchup, you're looking good. Oh, yeah. And step number two, arguably the hardest one, and this is where, you know, the meta goes all the way to the top, is, is you know, how are you going to get that opening? Who's going to get it first? What's your game plan here? So, Josh does get the first grab, uh, but does the day he one. the tech roll collect? Correct. Uh, nice get up one, attack yeah. there. Falcons are usually looking for a tech in place when they do that down there to follow up. Oh, nice little conversion here. Yeah, this should be. Yeah, okay. Nicely done from Josh. That kind of stuff, you know, if you make the right decisions and, and don't guess wrong too many times, it should be pretty guaranteed to get yeah. edge guards in this matchup. And he uh, kicks him out with the forward air. Yeah, Boom oh, showing nice. a lot of forward air, actually, as Falcon. Uh, just knowing it has the, oh, wow. Goes for the, we've seen a lot of Pika's sort of, I don't, I, I don't think it's new age. I think it's just sort of come back around. We've seen a lot of low recovering Pikachus, especially lately for me. How did uh, catch him? Boom not, Boom ready for that. Yeah, uh, yeah, but that's a good point. Um, Brody really excels at those kind of weird angles, too. Yeah. And uh, he, I'm sorry, bro, yeah, Brody excels at those angles. Um, and if you don't know what to look for when he's doing them, he's going to recover just about every time. But right. these two have played quite a bit. The, uh, the, so Boom is pretty wise to it. Right. It's the, the, You can sort of do the, the fox edge guard where you up B like into the stage and it messes your timing up a little bit on when yeah. you're going to be there. Um, We've seen a little bit of that more, but I mean, yeah, those two socks go. <laughs> um, nice little fade back there. Oh, Brody in the corner, but able to turn around. Ah, not able. Okay. He was probably looking for an up air there. If he gets that, that's an easy stock that he takes off Boom. But okay, he's still. Ah. You know, Brody was in command there. He had he had the positional advantage. He had Boom on the ropes. 
messes up one thing, booms, booms reset. So. Ah, and again. Yeah, the backwards uh, nair, that's not going to work against Falcon. Sort of a, a atypical drop of that edge guard for Josh Brody. Yeah. You'd think he'd be a little bit more experienced to not. It was a little egregious. Nicely done. He's doing, uh, I, I do like the way he's at minimum doing a lot of babysitting. He's go, he's yeah. jumping off really deep, which means that Falcon either has to commit to an aerial like Boom just did and, and loses his stock there, or has to kind of guess with an up B and catch him as he's coming down to yeah. cover. And um, then like at that percent, like really not much Falcon can do except right. maybe pray and go for a downer since you're that far down. So Brody evening, evening it up here after Boom had, wow. Okay, great recovery from Brody. Just caught him while Boom had to be recovering. Yeah, and good weaves here from Brody, avoiding uh, that yeah. up smash after a little bit of a whip. Being really evasive. We saw the first game, Boom sort of had a command of center stage, really was dictating the neutral. Brody's really picked it up, found a lot more reversals near the ledge. Yeah, that's going to be an easy edge guard. Nicely done. Yeah, and Brody taking another lead here. Okay, yeah, that's an easy kill for a boom. Yeah, Back so to uh, even. Pika's down tilt near the ledge when Falcon's approaching you is really good at stuffing most of his approaches. Boom recognizing that though and just uh, slapping him with the down air, which goes right above his head. Mm. That's some mid set adjustment there. Right, yeah, definitely. Yeah, recognize what Brody was liking to do off ledge and just punishing him for it. That's an, uh, just a, one more thing about this matchup, you know? Like, if you're near the ledge, there's lots of 50-50s you can yeah, take that you can just guarantee the kill. Like, that's... that's usually stock. the person winning is the one recognizing the other one's habits, you know? Yeah, exactly. Or sometimes it's just guessing right, but usually there's some sort of mental play going on. Yeah, so Boom opting to up B there. I think I would have liked the nair or a down air since he up smash him out of his second jump. But he still picks up the edge guard. Yeah. Let's see what Brody does here. So Boom just doing some chip damage. He knows he can't combo like that, but uh, zero, now it's yeah. a much meatier percent for Pikachu. And and when you're up stocks like this, you, you can just get that percent, right? Like it's, yeah. It doesn't matter as much. Yeah, that... Uh, so Boom really cleaned up that game. I mean, Brody started off taking the first stock and then kind of got rolled from there, I guess. Not yeah. that Brody looked bad. He just, uh, you know, guessed wrong three times. <laughs> really. that's, a, that's a tough one. When you're playing against Boom, the, the margin for error is razor thin. Yeah. You really can't be, you know, messing up anything easy. And Boom, like, he succeeds off momentum. Like, he's, yeah, yeah. he's a different player. Great chain grab here. See if he can just do a simple edge guard. Oh, and uh, great from Boom, just going in stage, knowing that Brody was favoring ledge. I like, oh, I like the downers there. Ooh, great angle. There's that, that low, you know, against the wall up be there. Yeah, and working out for him. Uh, Boom's still turning it around, but... Yeah. Um, but he did get the recovery off it. Like, it's definitely been working out for him. I will think Boom will start to pick up on that a little bit more. Ah, uh, this is tough for Brody. Uh, he's living. Decent. Uh, <laughs> he got a really smart up B escape. Kind of got to a weird spot where, where Boom just, like, wasn't sure where he was and missed. And then the unfortunate SD after that. Yeah. All right, bringing him back to, you know, a one-stock game here. Yeah, Brody doesn't need too much to turn this around. Right. He's got to be yeah, he's got to be careful. Up um, or down one stock in this matchup isn't a huge lead. Yeah. Up two stocks kind of feels a little different, though. Great dash chance there. Not wanting to commit right away. Oh, oh. wow. Okay. Boom, really uh, flexing on him there on yeah. that last stock of the set. Uh, we, yep, that's a 3-1 for Boom. Brody looked good. Uh, there was a brief moment I think someone put, posted in chat. Imagine if...